What's really good fam? It is your boy, David Brand New, back with another video for you. And today, I got another banger video for you guys, all right? As you guys can see, Leticia has a flat tire, thanks to Jane. We went off-roading. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a good video. But in the midst of doing that, I come back to a flat tire, guys. I have no clue what it caused it. It wasn't extreme conditions, okay? It was light off-roading at best. But today, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the flat tire on electric XP. We're actually gonna give it a tire rotation and we're gonna get this puppy back on the road. If you're not a part of that channel, hit that subscribe button one time. Also hit the like button, we're gonna shoot for 123 likes. And the person we shouting out today is Ride Share Biz. Shout out to you, okay? Let's get into the joint. First thing we're gonna do is turn the bike upside down. A lot of you guys are wondering how to do it because this bike is so heavy, it's like 60 something pounds. Easy way to do it is grab the rear brake and pull it back. No lifting involved. Boom. And then you just guide it down like so. Boom, easy. Bike is upside down. Damn, look at the dirt on the joint. I need a car wash. Car wash? The first thing that we're gonna do is take this rear tire off. It's a tricky one because it is the motor inside, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, okay? Let's go get some tools. All right, the tool you're gonna need is a three-fourths wrench. This is what gets this major bolt off. I don't know bike terms, guys, okay? I'm not a professional, so if I don't say the right word, don't go in on me, okay? I, I'm just like the average person. Boom, easy. Now we're gonna go to the other side there's a cover over this bolt. This is where the motor wire is. Be careful around this, okay? Because if this gets bent and tore up, you're done, okay? And I don't even know if that's covered under the warranty. It should be though, because we get flats all the time. So they got to expect us to be like taking this off. So I think we have to take off the derailleur. I was hoping that we didn't have to do that, but I think it'll just make it easier even if we don't have to take it off. So let's go ahead and take this off. Boom. And boom. So now the chain is not on there. All right. Then crack. Oh, that's what we have to do too. Sorry. This motor wire, you have to disconnect it. Like this, okay? Disconnect the motor wire. And then you gotta cut these zip ties. Dude, if I cut this wire, I'm gonna be so pissed. These are the torque arms. You gotta take these off as well. This is to prevent your wheel from like spinning out with this high speed motor. If you don't got no torque arm, the joint might just pop out of the axle. Don't ask me how, you just don't want to chance it. Beautiful. And there it is. There it is. All right, so we got the rear off. What I'm going to do is actually take off the front as well because I want to do a rotation, tire rotation. If you guys didn't know, because the motor is on the back, this tire is getting way more wear than the front one, okay? So you want to rotate your tires every now and then. So we might as well do it now that we have a flat. So let's take off the front tire. That should be way easier. These are super easy. Literally just taking off the nuts. And that's it. Right, Jay? Correct. For the front tire, you want to do a fit size 15. Boom, pop it. All right, front tire off. So now we're gonna take off the tire. Don't use a screwdriver, okay? Use something plastic or if you got strong manly hands, then use that. This is my first time doing it. We got a little like wedger. So what you wanna do is stick it in here and wedge it over the lip. And you wanna go around the tire Now that that's off, do the same thing again. That's a cool color. What, is Yellow? Is that the inner tube? It's like the tire liner. Okay. Make sure you guys unscrew your valve cap so the valve can actually pull through. You don't want to damage that. So now, come through. There it is. Okay. Boom. Now we're going to take out the inner tube. 
and we're gonna find out where this hole is. You can examine it first, just to see if it's big enough that you can see with your eye. Okay. So let's see. Guys, you'd be surprised what can cause a flat. Look at how tiny this joint is. I can't even see it on the You camera. can't even see it on camera. It's like, what, an ant size? And if I squeeze, air's not even coming out. It's like a slow leak. So just to be sure this is the root of the problem, we filled the inner tube up with air. Look, it's holding air. But uh, we filled it up with air and we're gonna dunk it in water. Okay. Now what? See? That's wow, hole. That's show them. Show them, guys. I mean, show them, Jane. That's the hole. That's sick. I didn't even know that. So that's a cool little trick if you guys can't locate the hole, even though we already located it. There it is. The root of the problem. That's so tight. You didn't know that? Wow. That's how they do that tire shop. Now that we got to the root of the problem, I got a little uh, repair kit from Dick's Sporting Goods, and I also did order a new tube online. And these tubes, the 20 by fours, are really hard to find, so I'll leave a link, but it's like a limited supply, so um, get them even if you don't need them right now. Just get them. All right, guys, the first step that you're gonna do with the kit is you're gonna get this little sandpaper and you're gonna scuff around the hole, okay? And this is to uh, make sure that this sticker that we put over it sticks very well. So we're just gonna do a little light scuff. Nothing too crazy. Right, Jane? Right. Is that good or no? Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. A little bit more? Mm-mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna apply some glue, guys. A little Dabberton on the joint. And then we're gonna peel the backing of this off. Hold this down for one minute. And now you're gonna peel off the clear plastic covering. We can test it out too if you want. Put it in the water? Mm -hmm. You don't think it'll uh, deteriorate the um, glue? Hon that's an honest question. Don't look at me like I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you didn't get all the plastic off. That's for extra protection. So as you can see, it's pushed all the way in all around the rim and it's the same exact way on both sides all right you want to make sure you tuck it in now that we got it all aligned we're gonna put some air in it and hopefully it holds let's see i had an old bmx bike laying around and it had some pegs on it so i'm thinking about throwing some pegs on the rear of the bike i'm gonna show you guys how to do that in the same video so hit the like button all right we're gonna do we're gonna do some more this bike was meant to be a BMX bike. I'm gonna tell you why. Take a look over here, Jane. For some reason, the Letcher SP has an extra hole. So, what we're gonna do is, I got some pegs. We already mounted one on one side. Check her out, boom. Went to Lowe's and got the proper size bolt. We're gonna stick it through and we're just gonna screw it on. And the cool thing about putting it in this spot right here is it doesn't interfere with anything on the bike. You guys will see when I put the rear uh, tire on. Yours is good? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Everything has been properly put back onto the bike. Now, one thing that would be funny is if the joint is still leaking. <laughs> so let's just flip her over. And um, I mean, we won't really know until like a couple of days, but take her for a little ride in the backyard. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the brakes need adjusting. <laughs> They're non existent. So that's for another day. To wrap up the video, though, I gotta give a massive shout out to Urban Grizzly. Check your boy out. Uh, here it is. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let me work on that. <laughs> Stay tuned. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button 129 times. I don't know what I said at the beginning, but do it. 23, 123. 123. Shout out to Jane with the perfect memory. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one. Deuces. Oh, yeah. ah! Look, money, my money, my money. Living the life right now for me. You can tell me you want me. I gotta get it a hundred. I gotta get it a hundred. Hundred time over a thousand. Looking at me like I'm it.